Hey guys, it's Marlo back again with an unboxing and review of the 1 6 scale Masters of the Universe Skeletor by Mondo. In my last video, I did a review on the Mondo 1 6 scale He Man figure. Here is the box to that figure, just to give you guys a quick look at the cool artwork from that box. And you can see with the Skeletor box that motif does continue with Snake Mountain here. And again, it looks like the same artist. You can see, again, that great detail in that artwork as it goes all around the box there. The back of the box. And all around to the other side. And just like the He-Man box with the Castle Grayskull motif, the slipcase Artwork opens up to reveal the box underneath. Again, some great artwork there of Skeletor. And you can see that has more of a purple motif. With He-Man, it kind of had a more golden type print. And this is the Hot Topic exclusive version of Skeletor. I picked this up through Hot Topic using Hot Cash. I got this again at about half price. These figures typically cost about $160 retail, but with Hot Cash, I was able to get this guy for about half price, so somewhere around $80, $90. And uh, basically, yeah, that's why I pulled the trigger on this. Um, I don't mind that it's the Hot Topic exclusive. Again, the artwork there in full color of Skeletor. Really nice artwork there. Again, I don't mind that this is the Hot Topic exclusive. I was thinking originally I wanted the normal version because that most looks like uh, Skeletor that we all grew up with and know, but now that I think of it, I kind of like this version because these interpretations of He-Man and Skeletor are a bit on the more realistic side. You could read that if you want. Just pause the video. Like I said, they have a more realistic interpretation. So I think in terms of these figures being something like maybe designs for a movie version of Masters of the Universe. And I think for something like that, this design would suit... A more realistic version of Skeletor. He's still blue, but instead of the purple outfit that we know and love, uh, the outfit for the Hot Topic exclusive is black. And I kind of dig that a lot. And the head sculpt here is a glow-in-the-dark head sculpt as opposed to just a painted yellow. And it doesn't look like he comes with an extra face plate. So far I don't see one anyways. So it's just the glow-in-the-dark face and his Havoc staff there. You can see some of the other contents, the extra hands that switch out. And it looks in the back there, there might be some weapons just like with the He-Man figure. So anyways, let's take a closer look at Skeletor out of the box. And here we have the contents of the box. The clamshell holding the Skeletor figure and underneath that was another clamshell with the weapons. And there was also the cape which was taped to the uh, back of the, there was like a little insert inside. So we do get a cape for Skeletor and it's quite heavy. Some pretty nice fabric there it feels like. And we do get the extra head sculpt there of the classic Skeletor. He, he was hidden by or behind the uh, figure there so I didn't see him as well as <clears throat> this figure, again, another cartoon character, which I do not recall from the series. So you guys, comment below. Let me know what you know, I guess, about this figure. Um, I thought I was a huge Masters of the Universe fan, but I really don't recall these funny characters. I don't know if they were later in the animated series, because they really look cartoony, or they showed up somewhere else, but I seriously do not recall these weird characters. And you can see here the weapons packaged in the clamshell and how they come packaged. We'll take a closer look in a little bit. Oops. And, of course, the Skeletor figure. How he comes packaged with the extra hands. 
and the Havoc staff. So let's open these up and take a closer look at everything. And here is Skeletor and the accessories out of the clamshell packaging. You can see the figure there looking really cool again. Lacking that purple shade to the armor, but I really like this take with the black and again with the glow-in-the-dark face uh, there, the skull. Again, a little bit more realistic looking in my opinion because the standard version again has the purple armor, which is a little weird if you think about it and a bright yellow face with red eyes so again a little bit more classic and cartoony looking with that and I think for a more realistic interpretation I prefer this black armor with the glow face which is a lot more creepy the other accessories <clears throat> again some extra hands there as you can see some grasping hands as well as some nice hands for some cool poses and gestures there uh, the classic head sculpt, like the He-Man figure, this calls back to the original 5-inch line of figures there, the goofy looking Skeletor head, which was really cool back in the day, but looks quite goofy by today's standards. So again, if you wanted to recreate that look from the 80s, you have that head sculpt. I don't think I'll be using it, but uh, again, just a cool extra. Of course the Havoc Staff, you cannot have Skeletor without his Havoc Staff. And look at the details on that. This glows in the dark as well, so that will look very cool. In the dark. And he comes with a cape that opens up quite nicely. It's really huge. Let's see if I can unfold this. Uh, properly but you can see how big this thing opens up to and this should drape nicely over the figure so something like that and the other accessories here you get a sword just like He-Man with uh, some bone motifs there some nice weathering some nicks in the sword <clears throat> you have a sheath for the power sword, much like He-Man's as well. All sculpted with some extra hooks there to hang from his back, which is nice. And let's see, does it have some of that padding? Yeah, you can see some of the padding in there, some foam. Just like with the He-Man sword, just to keep the power sword from getting scraped up when you house it in the sheath. I don't want the uh, nice silver paint there to get scuffed up too much. And with the other power sword here, some nice weathering again with the blade. You have the skull motif there on the end of the hilt. And last but not least, you have Skeletor's battle axe. Very cool looking. Again, sort of similar to He-Man's. You have this crazy crystal ball looking thing at the end and again some nice detailing throughout with the battle axe here is that weird cartoon creature I don't know this kind of throws it all off I mean you do have this more realistic interpretation of Skeletor and I don't know why they threw in these cartoon characters I have no idea who or what this is. Does it move? Okay, it kind of looks like the head might move, but let me see. I'm trying to do it with one, my one hand. Oh yeah, it does. So the head does have some articulation. There's a ball joint there. It's okay. It's nice to know. And last but not least, you have the display stand. Kind of plain. Would have been nice if uh, they had some kind of snake mountain motif on that. And underneath, just like the He-Man base, you have this M. For Mondo, I take it, or Masters of the Universe, I don't know. So pretty cool, basic stand. And let's move on to the figure and the details on the figure. So we have the head sculpt, let's start with that. Look at the cool details on the head sculpt. If you're wondering, there is some articulation there 
So I, again, you can switch out the head, but this skull head has some posability, as you can see. It moves in place, as well as the jaw. Come on, focus. There we go. You can see the jaw moves. And again, you get some rotation there, which is really neat. You can see the detail there. Again, this is the Hot Topic exclusive version with the black armor. The uh, <clears throat> standard version would have a red gem as opposed to this green one. So, more or less a repaint of that version. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this version is cool or would you prefer the, oops, the standard version with the purple armor? I'll try to insert a photo to give you guys a comparison of the two. Let's see. Yeah, hopefully I can remember to insert a photo again just to give you guys a comparison of the two versions. Uh, the back of the figure, again the armor and there should be a place here to insert the sword sheath if you want to keep that at the back of the Skeletor figure just like with the He-Man figure but I'm not sure how that will work if you use the cape or the cloak alright so let's move on to Skeletor's articulation so just like the He-Man figure you get a ball joint at the head and this should easily pop off. You can see the peg there to switch out with the uh, other head if you prefer. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty easily uh, that's pretty easily removable there. You get a ball joint at the shoulder for that kind of rotation at the lower deltoid as well. You get that kind of swivel, and you get one joint at the elbow as well as swivel at the wrist and the hinge at the wrist to allow you to fold the hand up and down like so and again an easy switch out with the pegs really short and they pop out quite easily so that could be a plus or minus I mean uh, some of you guys might like the pegs to be a little tighter but I think they are just fine for this figure uh, like He-Man again you get swivel at the chest area right there and the waist and I'm guessing you can also take him apart like He-Man if you preferred to remove the armor piece right there but uh, unlike the He-Man figure that came with a leather type uh, skirt or loincloth we don't need to switch that out for the uh, furry trunks because Skeletor always had the uh, the armor there on the front you get Decent range of motion there at the legs, sort of a ball joint there. Uh, double hinge at the knees for a nice bend, as you can see. And like He-Man, I don't think it rotates here at the uh, at the lower knee, but you do right here get that rotation. But it looks like you might get something there, but I, I don't think so. I think it's just meant to be at the lower knee. And of course, you get swivel at the ankles so all kinds of movement there and he's quite solid if you're wondering he's not just some kind of rotocast type figure he's quite solid not too heavy i'm not sure what material they use but they do seem to be solid plastic and that's more or less it as far as articulation let me get him accessorized or i don't know let me give you a good look at the head sculpt let me do that real quick that shouldn't be too bad pop that off Pop the classic head style on there. As long as I can get the hole in place. Oops. Easier said than done. I think I got it in there. Okay. So here is a look at Skeletor with the classic head. And that doesn't look too bad compared to the He-Man. Uh, kind of looks kind of cool, actually. <laughs> so this, in my opinion, fits the Skeletor pretty well. Uh, the size seems a little bit nicer, more proportionate. For some reason, for me, with the He-Man head, that classic head just looked a little too big for the body. 
But for Skeletor here, it looks pretty okay, actually. So not too bad if you wanted to pose him in this classic head sculpt. Wow, okay. I'm quite impressed with that, actually. And I do wish I did get the... Uh, Alfredo Alcala head sculpt that came with the exclusive version of He-Man that was available through Mondo Toys but oh well uh, I missed out on that but that would have been neat because I really like Alcala's artwork from the classic comics but there is a look at the classic head sculpt on the armor there so like I said let me switch everything out again and have him accessorized and here is Skeletor with his Havoc Staff sword in the back there and his cape. And they allowed for ample room for the sword sheath to fit through. So that was a nice uh, design there with the cape. Uh, the stand is giving me a little bit of trouble. It's not as secure as I would like. So I'm going to try to do without the uh, display stand. Uh oh okay and now that I'm mentioning it okay he doesn't seem to want to stand but okay there we have him so again uh, unfortunately I should have done this review at night it's morning my time let me see if I can still get the glow feature to work let me cut the lights as best I can hopefully I can get that going for you guys oh you can see a little bit there let me turn on my uh, black light charge up the glow features and there you go you can see the glow-in-the-dark head pretty good some of the crossbones there the havoc staff uh, let's see does the extra head also have a glow feature no nothing with the extra head so it's mostly what you have here with the uh, new design here the new skull the crossbones and like I said the Havoc staff. Again, I'm charging it up. There you go. You get a really nice glow there once charged up. Very impressed with this. Oh man, I love this Skeletor. All right, let me cut the lights back on for you guys. Whoops, there we go. And once again, you can see Skeletor here. Have him posed uh, quite dramatically with the hands there. Don't need him. Fully accessorized with all the weapons. You still have a couple here, like I said, the axe and the sword. Uh, you know, Skeletor was more of a strategist. He had his magic powers. So, you know, he mostly needed his Havoc Staff and maybe the Battle Sword or Power Sword there. Unlike He-Man, who was more of a brute. I mean, he had brains too, but he definitely utilized his weapons a lot more, at least in my, uh, <laughs> my interpretation of He-Man from back in the day so once again a look at Skeletor and the cape has the purple lining and black so again depending on how you wanted to display them I suppose with the other version you would switch it out with the black inside and the purple out but with this version he looks better and makes more sense having the black outside and the purple lining inside man I'm loving this figure so yeah, at first I thought I would be disappointed with this Hot Topic exclusive glow version, but like I said, for a more realistic interpretation, something you'd probably see from a live action movie, I think this one uh, suits my taste a lot better and probably uh, matches with He-Man in that new design a lot better too. Let me bring out my He-Man. Let's see. And here is He-Man. Pose alongside Skeletor, and like I said, in my opinion, I think it's a much better match. Uh, again, just, you know, a little futzing with the figures. I think I would like this skirt to be a little bit lower to show more of his abs, if I can get it to go lower. And he even looks good without this uh, skirt with just the, uh, the uh, furry trunks, just like the original figure. So, depending on how you want to display him, either way, I think uh, he will look cool. Again, more realistic type interpretations of these characters. Again, something you'd probably see in a live action film, in my opinion. And I think they display nicely on any Masters of the Universe shelf. 
Or if you guys just collect 1-6 scale figures and are fond of these characters as well, these would look pretty cool. So that's more or less it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Mondo 1-6 scale Hot Topic exclusive Skeletor. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'll put a link in the description to the He-Man review, which I did prior to the Skeletor one. So be sure to check that out and also give that a like. Alright guys, as always, keep on collecting, take care, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.